Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be sharing with you the latest Soonest PMP puzzles. And if you haven't seen any of my videos on these puzzles before, I'll link some in the cards above. And if you haven't heard of PMP before, I'll give you a quick rundown. So PMP stands for Pick and Pre-order, and Soonest runs multiple PMP events throughout the year. And so in a PMP event, you have uh, like multiple or a few different designs for puzzles, each by different artists. Um, and you get a very short limited time to pre-order a vote for your favorite design. So you get about six days to sort of pre-order the designs you like. And then after that, that's it. You can't order them anymore. Um, but only the designs that receive enough pre-orders are the ones that get made into puzzles. So yeah, it's all very kind of limited and very interesting. And the reason why it's sort of done like that is just to be a bit more environmentally conscious by only making what's required and not having like excess puzzles that might go to waste or something like that. Um, and also the PMP events, like regardless of whether an artwork gets turned into a puzzle or not, it's still really good exposure for lots of different artists. It sort of raises awareness of the artist and their artwork and just sort of gets the word out about yeah their awesome designs and hopefully they might get made into puzzles so another couple things that i really like about the pmp puzzles is that uh, one they are completely plastic free so there's no shrink wrap and even the pieces come in a paper bag rather than a plastic one so i think that's really cool and the other thing i like is just the high level quality of both the packaging and the pieces i've always really enjoyed it and had quite a good experience with it and i just think the box feels very nice and sturdy and luxe and looks very aesthetically pleasing and we'll definitely take a closer look at packaging and pieces uh, shortly in the unboxing so one last thing to mention about the PMP puzzles, since it's quite a new concept, Soonest has actually lowered the minimum uh, number of pre-orders required to turn a design into a puzzle. And because of that, there's actually some limited excess stock of some of the, the designs in the Soonest, I guess, web shop or on the website. Uh, so if there's any you missed out on from uh, this round of PMP or even from one of the previous PMP events, uh, definitely grab yourself one while you still can because they are limited um, and don't forget I actually have a Soonest discount code which gets you 10% off it's affiliated I'll pop it on the screen somewhere it's also in the description box below so definitely use that you can use it on all the Soonest puzzles including these PMP ones and grab yourself a cheeky 10% discount so let's take a quick look at each of the designs so I'll just move these over here um, and take a look at the first one also for each of the design or the boxes um, it's just got part of the image on the like front and the sort of sides, but we do have like a whole image on the back, plus there's a poster included, so, but you'll get to see that in the unboxing. Um, but this one is called Electronic Fantasy and it's by the artist Rowan, who's actually done a couple of the previous PMP puzzle designs and she's been quite popular and um, I, I totally can see why, because her designs are just really cute and colorful and always really full of fun, in, interesting, exciting details. And this one's no exception, so, yeah, like the name would suggest, it really is like an electronic fantasy. It's this cute girl with green hair and her cat sidekick. I feel like maybe a kindred spirit, but she's sort of like maybe in a giant spaceship or something. I don't know, like she's just in amongst all these very kind of retro vintage looking electronic things like old monitors, old gaming systems, like consoles. There's like a Game Boy and there's like Tamagotchis. There's even a gramophone and a rotary phone. There's lots of like VC, uh, like boom boxes and what do you call them? Cassette, not cassette, well, yeah, cassette tapes, but also like the thing you put in a VC, <laughs> a video cassette tape, I guess. Um, yeah, and all sorts of like different electronic screens and recording devices. And yeah, there's just, there's just heaps going on. So I don't think this is gonna be at all boring. It might be a bit challenging because there's just like lots going on and lots of colors and some similar colors and things but I think it looks pretty fun so yeah I think that'll be a cool one to put together and then this one here is really colorful and bright um, this one's called Avant Garde Arcs and it's by Leah Konasevska I hope I pronounced that right and so I've actually already done this one I did this one recently over on Instagram so definitely go check that out if you're interested to see some sort of close-ups and different uh, my experience of doing this puzzle and you can also read my thoughts about doing it. I did a, sort of like a mini review. So yeah, go check that out. Um, but yeah, I really loved it. It's just so, I mean, I love gradients and I love color. Um, yeah, I found this one really fun to do. Um, not too difficult. Some parts were challenging, like the red parts I found a bit more challenging than 
some of the other colors, but it was quite calming to put together, very meditative and just a sort of fun challenge, like a good balance of um, challenge, but like also some parts were very easy. So yeah, and like a nice mix. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. And then this last one is also very fine and colorful. It's called Doodle and it's by Haley Patterson. And it is also really jam packed with lots of details. Um, so just all these like little fun characters and yeah, it's just jam packed. Like uh, there's so many quirky, silly, crazy characters in here. There's like little, like, I guess ladies in here, but then you've got a frog and what else? Um, someone with a crown, someone with bunny ears. It looks like there's a vampire, um, some clowns. Oh, what else? like someone with pizza or a pizza slice like there's just so much so I think this will be a really fun one to do as well and it's kind of interesting because um, I think this puzzle does have a like straight edge but the artwork itself is not like the edge is not straight it's all like uh, like I guess shaped according to like the design so yeah kind of interesting um, so that'll be, yeah, kind of interesting to put together. And I guess this one, like the electronic fantasy one, will be probably a bit tricky, but also probably really fun because you get to discover all these interesting things as you put it together. Um, yeah, so I think all of these are pretty fun, colorful puzzles. Um, and I actually ended up doing a poll over on Instagram, although maybe next time I might do one on the community tab for YouTube. I just find that more people seem to see see my posts on Instagram than the community tab. So that was my sort of thinking behind it. But anyway, I put a post there or like a poll asking which one of these I should complete in my video. And the majority voted for the uh, electronic fantasy by row one. So that is the puzzle I'll be completing in this video. Um, so I think it's gonna be really fun and cute and I'm very excited to do it. Um, so I think without further ado, let's take a look like let's unbox it, take a look at the packaging and pieces and let's put this together. So first up with the packaging, all the PMP puzzles actually come in these little cardboard boxes uh, just to sort of help protect them. Yeah, just an extra layer of protection, I guess. So yeah, and they're recyclable, so that's great. And then if we look at the actual puzzle box, uh, one, it's nice and sturdy. So yeah, pretty. Yeah, pretty strong, feels really nice to touch and even has like a bit of a ASMR texture on it. So that's kind of nice. Yeah, a little, yeah, feels good. Um, anyway, we've got the a section of the image that's on the front and it sort of wraps around on the sides as well. But then we can turn the box over and we've got a, uh, a lovely uh, image of the entire artwork here, which is looking very pretty and cute and I can't wait to puzzle it. Um, so we've got a bit of information, we've got the Soonest logo, and then we've got uh, Electronic Fantasy by Row One, so the name of the puzzle and the artist. We've got a little puzzle piece here and it says Copyright Soonest. And then we've got the piece count and the size, so 1,000 pieces and 49 by 68 centimeters. And then we've just got a little bit of info here, designed in Canada, printed in China. Um, printed in soy ink on 100% recycled paper, so it's great. And just a little choking hazard warning and a little barcode. So let's open up the box. Maybe, yes, there we go. All right, and then uh, on the inside of the box is this puzzle in particular, it's got this lovely, nice blue color. And we've got a quote here from the artist. So it says, imagine the fantastic things that you can't see in real life and just create them in your own way. And then Rowan, the artist's name. So yeah, it's a nice little sort of a uh, bit more of a like personalized touch from the artist. So yeah, nice to include that. So let's pop that aside. And then we've we'll have a look at the contents in a sec, but I've just uh, noticed we've got a bit of text around the sides of the box. So if we go to this side here, we've got um, beautiful art in pieces, www, lots of w's, dot soonest dot com. And then let's see um, on this side, we have, uh, the artist details, Rowan, based in Seoul, Korea, and then uh, the Instagram handle, and then, yep, and just like the first part repeated, and the artist details repeated again. So back to the uh, inside of the box. So we've got a 
paper bag here, which is full of our lovely pieces. So looking forward to opening that up and it just rips open and it says pieces of art inside with the little Soonest Girls Face logo, just plain on the back. So we'll take a look at those in a sec. And then we have another paper bag. So this is actually um, like a, essentially the bag you can put the pieces in afterwards. Uh, like if this one gets all ripped or you don't want to use it, like once you open this one, it's not really sealable again. So you can then transfer the pieces into this. Um, anyway, so it says, yeah, put the puzzle pieces here for storing. You can decide to frame the artwork, redo the puzzle many times, trade and resell, give it a long lifespan. And then do you love the artwork? Support our artists by sharing this puzzle on social, tag hashtag soonest, hashtag the artist name. And then a little uh, girl's face logo. So yeah, it's just like a, just opens up and you can pop your pieces inside. So that's nice. And then we've got a few more things in here. We've got a really nice, like sort of thick and very like, yeah, I don't know what you call it, like a UV uh, finish, like postcard uh, of the artwork. So you can actually use it as a postcard if you want. It's got the room, room for writing and the address and the stamp. Um, so that's kind of cute. Although, of course, you know, I guess for me, I'd probably like, you know, stick it up on like a board or frame it or something like that. So, yeah, it's a cute little, nice little collectible kind of touch, I think. And then we have a poster. I don't know if it's going to fit on screen, maybe. So, yeah, nice almost pretty much Ugh, can I I don't know which way to put this almost fits pretty much yeah and that's a really nice quality as well it just is like a nice thickness not too flimsy and it's a really nice size actually it's kind of like what it looks about two times a4 <laughs> what's that is that a3 I always get mixed up I think it's about roughly about a3 so yeah nice a nice size uh, big enough that you can like see a lot of the details quite clearly but not like a monstrous poster and then the reverse is just white so yeah definitely that is going to come in very handy and then the inside of the box is that lovely blue color again and we've got the soonest girls face logo so let's open up the pieces and take a look at those so i have emptied out all the pieces and they're looking really nice so i guess let's grab one and take a closer look so the back of the piece uh, is a nice uh, i guess gray board blue board Kind of more gray, I guess, gray board uh, backing. So there's no backing paper. It's just the cardboard, but yeah, looks good. And then the thickness is yeah, really nice and thick, kind of almost chunky. Um, yeah, feels really nice to handle, feels very sturdy, like wouldn't be easy to bend this at all, not at all flimsy. So yeah, really strong. So I think these will be really nice to puzzle with, just very nice to handle. And then the top of the piece is fairly smooth. It does have a very subtle uh, pattern, like almost like a little, if I look in the light, like a really subtle sort of cross hatch, like linen finish. Um, but the piece almost feels a bit more, I don't know, just very smooth and plasticky or a little bit waxy or something, but yeah, really nice. And um, it's almost matte. Like if I move it around in the light, it only catches a very slight amount of light on it. Like it's very, it's almost matte, but there's a teeny weeny bit of sheen. And again, that's gonna be just dependent on the type of lighting you're working with so but I don't think you're going to get really much glare at all or much reflection on these pieces so yeah I think they'll be really nice to puzzle with so definitely excited to try these out and then yeah I guess let's look at what piece shapes we have so of course we have a three tab one here we have one tab um, we've got four tabs what else do we have um, two tabs or one of the two tab varieties uh, another one with two tabs of course we have edge pieces as well and I don't know if we have a zero tab one let's have a bit of a quick rummage see if I can spot any um, but either way like we've already got quite a mix of pieces like piece shapes so that will definitely help with like avoiding false fits I think um, okay concentrating on finding a zero zero tab piece um, I haven't seen any Okay, I'm not sure we have one, but yeah, like I said, we've got plenty of variety as it is, so that's great. Um, and from my experience with the Soonest PMP puzzles, there's been, I think, like zero or really few false fits, so I've been really impressed with that. 
Um, so yeah, hoping that will be the same with this. So yeah, it'd be interesting to put these, to work with these and sort of see what they're like. Um, and so oop, before we, I guess, get into putting this together, and this is, this is a little bit stuck, but not definitely cut through just a couple pieces that weren't uh, fully separated. Um, oh yeah, I guess the quality of the pieces has been quite good. I haven't really seen anything damaged. I mean, it's not unusual to get a little bit of damage even in brand new puzzles, but for the most part, I think these are all looking very pristine and very nice and haven't seen any bent pieces, but I'll let you know if I do find any or if there's any issues. Um, but yeah, before we go on to, I guess, how I'm going to tackle the puzzle and actually doing the puzzle, I thought we'd quickly have a, like do a comparison with the pieces from the last round of PMP puzzles, because these are quite different actually. So I've got a few pieces here. Um, so I guess we'll just pick up this one. So the previous ones actually had backing paper, which I didn't mind too much. Um, like normally I'm not a big fan of backing paper, but the paper didn't seem to cause too many issues for me personally. Um, but yeah, so the new ones, they don't have any backing paper. And then as for thickness, oh God, um, I'd say they're both quite thick, but I don't know if you can see this, hopefully, and hopefully it's not blurry, hopefully it's in focus. The new one, which is this one, is a little bit thinner than the previous one. So the previous pieces were great, but, and they fit really nicely together, but then when it came to actually taking the puzzle apart, they were quite uh, fitting like almost a bit too tightly. So it actually became um, a bit of a task to undo the pieces in order to like not split the layers of the piece or damage the piece. So you had to be quite careful and it was quite time consuming to undo the previous um, PMP pieces. So I'm hoping that now that these new ones are a little bit thinner, but still thick, we might not have that problem. We'll see. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to find out like what the, how the fit is, how tight it is, or if it's a bit looser than the previous PMP puzzles. But yeah, so very slightly thinner, uh, I guess thick instead of completely chunky. <laughs> so yeah, but still, um, yeah, but the new ones are still very thick. And then the surface is, yeah, I think pretty much the same, like that same sort of very smooth, almost matte feel um, with just a very subtle bit of texture. So yeah, they're pretty much the same. Yeah, so I guess the main differences are um, slightly less thick now and no backing paper. So yeah, I guess we'll see uh, it, like how those uh, differences are gonna like affect puzzling this time around. Um, yeah, definitely interested to see how that works out. Um, I think that's all I really have to say about pieces. So I guess let's have a quick look at this poster here. I don't know if we'll be able to see the whole image. I mean, also this image is portrait. So I'm actually gonna be doing it sideways because otherwise I can't reach um, well, one, you won't be able to like see the time lapse probably if I have the board going the actual correct way, but also I can't reach that like that far if I have the board long ways. I mean, of course you can always spin the board around, but yeah, often like with portrait style puzzles, I just do them sideways. So I just find that easier and I don't mind doing them at a weird like angle, I guess. Um, yeah, so this is a very like detailed, uh, yeah, jam packed full of details puzzle. But there are still like distinct sections. So, you know, like we've definitely got like the yellow of her shirt and her blue jeans. So hopefully like I might and her hair and stuff and maybe even the telephone, her sneakers. So I'm, I don't know, might be able to find those bits and even like the cat and like the gramophone. But I feel like it's definitely gonna be quite a tricky puzzle because there's so much like little details and all the electronics going on and even on the floor so and I remember um, from the last time I did a row one puzzle which was the last uh, PMP video actually uh, I like at a when you look at the picture like this it looks quite clear but then when you're up close and the you know the pictures more zoomed in on the pieces when you look at an individual piece it can be quite tricky to tell where it goes and be quite, it can look quite abstract 
So yeah, I feel like we're probably going to have that issue with this as well. Um, and it's going to be quite hard to sort by colors in a lot of areas because there's just a lot of color everywhere. So yeah, so it might be more of a case of just picking up a piece and trying to sort of study the picture and then see where it goes, except for some of these more like uh, blocky bits of color. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is uh, I'm more or less going to play it by ear and just see how it goes. And I guess partway through, I'll let you know how things have gone and if I've uh, picked a different strategy or anything like that, or if I've decided to do things differently. Uh, yeah. So I think um, without further ado, uh, yeah, let's get into some puzzling. So I'm about halfway or maybe a bit over halfway through the puzzle and uh, yeah, pretty happy with what I've uh, managed to achieve so far, although it has been pretty slow going, which is kind of what I expected. But at the same time, I was definitely going pretty slow. I was uh, puzzling in a very relaxed state, which is fine. So yeah, to get to this point, including sorting, it's taken four and a half hours. I do think the rest of it won't take quite as long, just mainly because there's well less pieces for a start. but. I'm a lot more familiar with the image now. Um, but that being said, there's like this whole section here and all the other bits are a little bit more detailed and fiddly. I'll just grab the poster so we can sort of see. Um, yeah, like all this electronic stuff, it is quite fiddly. And then when you're, you know, looking at individual pieces, so like, I guess if I grab a random piece like this, it's not always clear I'm trying to figure out like where that goes. Um, and there's heaps of pieces that just look 
like this and you're like what is this so yeah I definitely think it'll still be a little bit tricky and fiddly to put together um, but yeah but I've been really enjoying it so far um, it's just yeah it's a lot of fun um, the pieces have been really nice and the image is just cute and even though there's like there's lots going on so it's sort of interesting seeing little bits come together and it's quite colorful as well even though it's all electronic stuff there's like lots of little yeah little fun details and colorful bits and yeah like just a lot going on so you know you don't get too bored with any one section or anything like that so yeah I've been enjoying that and then yeah like I said the pieces have been really nice to handle so yeah definitely that sort of uh, having them nice and thick has been just feels nice and it's quite luxurious um, so yeah in terms of the quality it's been really great um, no damaged pieces at all been very happy with the, yeah the yeah the quality's been fantastic nothing to complain about um, been happy with like if we zoom in a little bit there's like pretty much yeah I don't think there's like any glare or sheen I haven't had any issues with lighting on it like the light reflecting on it being a problem at all it's been quite matte and as you can see it looks very matte there's no like sort of glare spots or anything um, and the piece fits been good in the sense or in both ways actually so one I haven't had a single false fit which has been fantastic but two let me swap to the other hand if we go to pick up sections let's see you can gently if you're gentle you can pick up reasonable sized sections um, some do crumble like if you know a way this around it will probably crumble a bit maybe or oh, maybe not but yeah it's like the border was a little crumbly at first but then with sections like this it's been pretty good trying to like being able to move them around so I've been happy with that um, and something I forgot to mention earlier actually is that there is a little bit of dust as you can kind of see on the board here but not like too much just a little bit there's also some uh, misty cat hair because Misty decided she'd like to try out this puzzle and she said it felt very nice to sit on uh, she would definitely recommend it uh, definitely sit on this puzzle 10 out of 10 so so that's Misty's review um yeah and what else um yeah piece fits been good no false fits no glare a little bit of dust um I think that's pretty much it I don't think yeah nothing else really comes to mind um that I've had like I haven't really had any issues with anything um I was missing a couple of uh border or edge pieces but I I did rummage through the box and found those thankfully oh that's right there was one funny little border piece I don't know if we can find it oh well, that's it there actually okay I don't know if you can see this let's see if we can pull it out so I don't know what its deal is and why it's so funny and weird maybe just something with I don't know okay I can't pull it apart but can you see how that's a weird shape like it's a one piece kind of made up of these two like weird half bits so yeah that was funny that was like the only kind of weird quirky piece don't know what it's about but I kind of like it it's kind of interesting and cute okay anyway I think I've said all I have to say I'm just rambling now so I guess I'll see you once I've completed the rest of this puzzle
So I finished the puzzle and I really love how it's turned out. It's just so colorful. There's lots of cute details and just lots of details and things going on overall. So yeah, a lot of fun to put together. It was a bit on the challenging side though. So the first session took four and a half hours to do. And then the second session was a bit quicker uh, with two and a, two hours and about 10 minutes. So all up to complete the 1000 pieces, it was six hours and 40 minutes or thereabouts. So not too bad, but yeah, I definitely found some sections quite challenging, especially like all the electronic stuff up here and some of these greeny blue sections were a bit hard to uh, figure out, especially when you're just looking at little abstract pieces, but I definitely got there in the end and yeah, enjoyed piecing it together. I felt like I got a lot of uh, like entertainment value, lots of hours of puzzling entertainment and it was fun seeing everything come together, very satisfying and yeah, just discovering lots of cute details like little Tamagotchis and cute little games on the screens, things like that. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, definitely enjoyed the quality. Uh, the piece thickness is very good. It's like very nice to handle, quite thick and chunky, not quite as chunky as the previous batch of PMP puzzles, but still very luxurious. Um, and the feel of it is very smooth, like the surface is very smooth, almost a bit sort of plasticky or waxy feeling. Um, but that being said, there's like pretty much zero glare. They're like almost completely matte pieces. So very little glare or sheen, which was definitely very helpful when putting this together. And then the piece fit in terms of like the, I guess, uniqueness of the, of the pieces. They, it was very unique, I guess, because there were basically no false fits. Um, and that's pretty impressive considering we've got lots of little bits here that look very similar and lots of areas of similar colors. So yeah, very pleased with that. And then as for sort of like the tightness of the fit, um, it, this time around compared to like the last batch of PMP puzzles was a bit more on the looser crumbly side. So I was still able to pick up sections though, just smaller sections very gently. Um, so that was fine. I was quite happy with that. I think I found the border to be a little bit more crumbly. Yeah, so sometimes the edges are a bit more crumblier than like some of the more, I guess, center sections, if that makes sense. Um, but I think maybe, maybe you might be able to do a puzzle pickup, but it is a bit more on the crumbly side. So I'm not feeling brave enough, but feel free to. <laughs> um, but I kind of don't mind that it's a bit more looser fitting because it just means taking it apart isn't gonna be a slow process or you don't have to be too careful taking it apart. You can just, yeah, pretty easily pull it apart, pack it away. Whereas I found last time, um, yeah, it was quite a task carefully undoing all the pieces because the fit was so tight and you didn't want to like damage anything. So yeah, very happy with this sort of change in piece fit. I think it's a big improvement and yeah, just overall really happy. And then I guess the only other things about quality are there weren't any damaged pieces. So impressed with the, I guess, quality control. And yeah, there's a tiny bit of dust, but it's not at all excessive and totally fine. Um, and when it comes to the packaging, also very impressed. Um, love that it's plastic free. Love the sort of cute compact size of it, but also it's very display worthy, very aesthetically pleasing. Um, love that you get a little postcard, like a collectible postcard and you get a lovely poster and also the sort of uh, spare little paper bag to put the pieces back in and just enjoy the sort of little attention to detail with like extra things like the quotes and yeah, and just the feel of the box and everything. It's all really nice and luxe and just overall makes for a very positive puzzling experience. So yeah, I would definitely recommend any of these Sooners puzzles. I think they're just really lovely quality and of course the artwork is fantastic and you can kind of choose the artwork that suits you. So yeah, definitely enjoyed them and would totally recommend them. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of the Sooners PMP puzzles and let me know which design was your favorite. And did any of you end up pre-ordering any of the awesome designs from the latest PMP event? If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jibby where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.